Hello everyone out there in the YouTube universe. Welcome to another episode of Baking It on Broadway. I am your faithful host, Matt Koplick. To my left is perpetual teenager, Emily Skeggs, <laughs> soon to be seen on Broadway as Medium Allison in Fun Home. Welcome, Emily. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you for coming. Uh, would you like to tell the folks at home what we're baking today? We're baking Ruggle. Did I pronounce it right? It Rugalach. 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 It's our, as Bubby would say. As Bubby would say. Are you Jewish? No, but I grew up on the Upper West Side. So you know all the secrets. So yes, yes. Jewish by osmosis. Baruch That's a great play title. It's Jewish by osmosis, uh, by osmosis by Terrence McNally. <laughs> That's amazing. Play. You saw it here. All right, so let's begin. We have to start with eight ounces of cream cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's Ooh. so attractive. <laughs> okay, uh, so after the cream cheese, we have to do half a pound of butter. Delicious. Delicious. All right, it's going make in. Make love. In make this make bowl. love, not Warcrafting, though. Make no. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very loose baker. Uh, um. Okay. Oh, so now it's the quarter cup of sugar. Things I like to follow oh. the rules, but also deviate. Yeah. Uh, we also want to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So Emily, for those who do not know, what is Fun Home about? My father killed himself and I became a lesbian cartoonist. Now we have to add two cups of flour, which we have pre-sifted, um, because I'm amazing like that. Uh, okay, you can put that in. Beautiful. Beautiful. To keep flour from getting everywhere, you want to make sure that you're mixing it at the bottom of the bowl. I would like to not star in life spirit today. I would. Maybe we should. We should. Here, put Although, a little bit. We're ghosts now. Uh, fun Home. It's based on the graphic novel by Alison Bechtel. Which is also a memoir. Which it's, it's, a, it's a graphic novel graphic memoir. Graphic novel memoir, memoir. Which is now a musical based on a graphic novel memoir. She's my daughter. Very She's my meta. sister. She's my daughter. She's my sister. Have you have you not asked Judy Kuhn to like sing your voicemail outgoing message or like that? <laughs> I haven't. You should. I that's all I would do. That's a really if I were, good I were idea. a show with her, I'd be like, I'm sorry, Judy, can I just get a voice memo of you so I can make what it? What would my... you have her say? Or it'd be like a 16 second mashup of Colors of the Wind, Nobody Side, In My Life, <laughs> Vanilla Ice Cream, and that's something basic amazing. from Sunset Boulevard. Um, we gotta roll this up into a ball, and then we have to. Cut it up into four pieces, wrap it, put it in the fridge for an hour so it can harden a little. Like when you were auditioning, did you read the memoir? Or did you just kind of bone up on the material they gave you? I, I was given about a day before the audition, so I I learned the song as mm -hmm. hard as I could because mm -hmm. changing my major is definitely very difficult. Changing my major to Joe. To Joe. Do you want to sing some? I do, but <laughs> no one would want to hear that. Mm. And then I literally found out the next day that I got the role, and then I started work the day after that. So it was a, <sighs> it was a whirlwind. But that's like what every actor wants. Yeah. You want to know the next day you got it, and then the next day just go to work. It was All pretty amazing. Waiting. Yeah, yeah. Days and days of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have some waxing paper, and I love your attitude. Um, Oh, we're so, not. So, no, we can. Oh, okay. Give me some. Oh, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Silent dance party. All right, so next up, uh, we have our filling for the rougalach. <laughs> a quarter cup of light brown sugar. So, Emily, you are from New York City. We've established, I am. We've established that like five times. <laughs> uh, where did you go to school in New York? And I went to a huge art school called LaGuardia. Oh, uh, yes, LaGuardia. LaGuardia Art School. That's the fame school, the correct? Name my name. Fame! Uh, we also need uh, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Uh, what roles did you play at LaGuardia? Oh, my, well, first we did hair. You were in hair? I was in the ensemble of hair. Lovely. Which was very fun. We couldn't sing sodomy. We had to hum it. Oh. Look at this, Ina. <sighs> has skills. She's got herself skills. some skills. And my special skill is... I can bowl like a badass. Skills. Now we need half a cup of uh, of apricot preserves, finely pureed. Do you want to taste it? I do. So. It's so good. Fine. This actually seems very gourmet to me. I mean, like yes. Like if, if it were sort of like on a nut plate with like some salamis. <laughs> Leave it to an actress from Fun Home to turn baking it on Broadway into an artisan show. <laughs> so Emily. How familiar are you with uh, the public theater's 
history. Very familiar. So you're familiar that the Newman stage, which is what Fun Home is on, it's a very famous stage. Yes. At any point during either rehearsals or the show, did you ever think to yourself, this is like where Donna McKechnie did Chorus Line. This is where Elaine Stritch did her one-woman show. It is a building full of history and not only theatrical history. Really? Like Walt Whitman and Edgar Allan Poe went to that library when it was a library. Really? Yeah. So that building is just full of so much incredible, crazy, creative energy. It's really nuts. That is. Yeah. It's walnuts. So all right, now we're... Now our filling is complete. I think we can put this in the fridge for a hot minute. Okay. A hot minute. <laughs> While you do that, I think uh, we'll head over to my couch, have a little tea time, and uh, fill out Matt's world famous questionnaire with some new pop up questions. <laughs> Music theater! Eye contact. My dad does really serious eye contact. So, Emily, this is Matt's world famous questionnaire. The likes of Prince. Chaka Khan, Amy Poehler, Vince Gilligan know nothing about. John <laughs> Hamm knows about it though, and he won't return our phone calls. So, John. favorite musical? Well, I love Sondheim. Great. Sunday in the Park is by far my favorite. Yeah. We, we all love that video, the Bernadette Mandy video. That VHS is ruined now. Favorite play? I saw Tom Stoppard's Arcadia, mm -hmm. but I saw Tom Stoppard's um, Jumpers when I was about 12. Didn't really get it, but it's one that stuck with me my entire life because that was kind of the... You're like, just like, that's I the thesis like, of Tom Stoppard. I need Stoppard. to understand this. Sondheim and Tom Stoppard, you're really just a... a, a mid, you're such a Midwest girl. Really. really. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is my favorite play of all time. Uh, next up, Dream Roll. <laughs> um, dot and Sunday. Keep in with that theme, that's good. Uh, Mrs. Lovett. Also in the Sondheim realm. But I'm also hoping that they, they do Violet in another five to ten years because... Like Gypsy. Just make it every five to ten. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Musical moped. I'll sing the opening number to Bat Boy so hardcore all the time. This one. So I, Emily Skeggs, would pee myself if I ever met... Frances McDormand. I, Emily Skeggs, would have blank play me in a movie. Allison Pill. My favorite food is? Sushi? One, two, three. All right, first thing we gotta do is we gotta take one of our balls of dough if you wanna make the selection. Ta-da! And she says she doesn't play favorites. Oh, it's very doughy now. How does it feel? Like, 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 like dough. Here, take my ring one. Oh, Emily. Isn't that nice? We're married. Yeah. Here's my doughery. I, there's a hack I found on YouTube where if you roll it on top of wax paper, it doesn't stick. You are so smart. What did the, what did the pioneer women do without YouTube? Um, I think they just kind of ate it a lot. Thin. How thin? Thin and long? I, Ina says nine inches, and I'm like, bitch, I don't have a measure on me. Nine like, inches? No. So let's spread that out a little thin, and then like- It's like, like a, a pizza. Yeah, like a pizza, but it's like a coating of pizza. <laughs> you don't get both spoons? Give me a spoon, girl. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, quarters, and then uh, divide the quarters up, so. <gasps> I get- Roll, Rolling it up. Just making tucking it them in. Nice, nice and tight. And two, twa! Beautiful. We finally have transferred our arugula to the cookie sheet. To the big stage. Transferring it to Broadway, much like Fun Home did. Uh, it's ah, uh, bringing it back around. Ready, guys? Ready? And you go. See you later. Whee. So we have our arugula in the oven for about 30 minutes. Uh, do we have anything that could pass the time for 30 minutes? I'm coy. You are coy. It's one, two, two three. three. Clap. Clap! My name is Marcel, and I'm partially a shell. What is that? It's braced. Ah! Hey. Everything's alright, babe, when we're together. When we're together! Ready? And, the clap. Wee. Woo! Oh, look at that. They are okay. so beautiful. Okay. Wow! Those are perfect. Okay. I'm gonna get this little weirdo. The leader, the little guy. <gasps> Hi, little guy. We're supposed to let it cool for like 20 minutes, but ain't nobody got time for that. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Well, that concludes another episode of Baking It on Broadway. I want to thank 
Emily Skeggs for joining us today. Thank you. Oh, of course, thank you so much for coming. You can check her out in Fun Home, which will be at the Circle and Square Theater. You start previews on my birthday, March 27th. Amazing. And a fun fact, when, when do you open? April 19th. Opening night is April 19th. Make sure to check it out. It's a phenomenal musical. Uh, like our Facebook page, subscribe to us on YouTube. Life is a carburet, chum. Come or, eat the carburet. <laughs> come, come eat the carburet.